What is the difference between building your future on sand or stone? Well, if scripture refers to the stone as being built on God the Father, and as, of course, we know his Son and the Holy Spirit is that cornerstone that's very important. Sand kind of interested, it relates to man. And so on, as we were talking last week about, you know, there's man's laws and there are God's laws. There's man's way and there's God's way. And this is true probably of wealth and uh, the financial arena as much as it is anything, because there are several incidences in Holy Scripture's all over the world of uh, royalty at different times from King David. I know of emperors uh, in China. I know of kings in ancient India that were doing a lot of the same principles that we know that Solomon, King Solomon was doing in the Old Testament. And when they built their wealth or they built their prosperity on God's terms with God's laws and his ways. I mean, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit to materialize wealth that you could see and wealth that you could not see was astronomical. It's uh, God is looking today for people who want to build things, Jimmy, on the stone. He wants to see, since we're going to see, we are seeing the biggest transfer of wealth that we have seen since King Solomon's time on the planet. And, and probably more importantly, we are seeing wealth created out of the ethers in a level that we have never seen. We are seeing entrepreneurship just coming from everywhere and every denomination, every culture, every ethnicity, every race, every country on the planet. I mean, we were just talking um, yesterday, uh, one of my associates and myself, we were on the phone and emailing back and forth, Jimmy, to India. And it is so exciting for me. As you know, I spent four and a half years in India studying the three basic yogas, living in ashrams with some great Indian yoga masters. And seeing what's happened to that country and seeing what is changing in that country because now they're back to honoring what God wants them to do, and they're back to building things on stone instead of sand. 